Welcome back to Uncle Asni channel. Today, we are going to continue what we have learned before. Okay, after collecting all the data from our respondent, we are going to analyze the data. Okay, how are we going to do that? Okay, as usual, we have to go into Google Free, Google Form Free. And we have to press Google Forms, free online survey because they are paid version. Once you are here, I want to I wanted to press personal. And I wanted to log in using your school account. For others, you can use any Gmail account. Okay, next. Okay, you will be presented with this screen. Instead of making a new form, I want you to press over here, Forms Home. There is a blue square at the upper left hand corner. Here, you can find all the survey that you have done before. For example, in our last training, in our last lesson, we have created this student mail during PKP survey. Okay, I want you to press this thing or any survey form that you have created using your own idea. When you press here, we can see a number over here next to responses. This is how many person that have responded to our survey form. Mine is 20. It's quite a lot because I keep posting my link in Schoology so everybody have a chance to answer my question. You should do that also because you want to collect as many respondent as possible. I wanted to press this respondent. You will be presented with this screen where you can analyze the data that have been collected. Okay, after you have pressed responses, you will be presented with this screen. In here, we have a lot of information that we have collected from our respondent. For example, our first question is, when do you take your breakfast? Based on this pie chart, we can see that nobody is having their breakfast before 7 a.m. Those who took their breakfast between 7 a.m. and 8 a.m. is 35 percent. Those who took their breakfast from 8 a.m. until 9 a.m. is 35 percent also. Those who took their breakfast after 9 a.m. is 30 percent and nobody skip their breakfast. Let's see our second question. Tell us what you eat this morning. It seems that we have varieties of food 
that was taken during breakfast. For example, we have donut, fried meat, nasi lemak, roti china and all that. This is local food in Malaysia. But one that interests us is this nasi lemak. We have two person who took this nasi lemak as their breakfast. Okay students, are uh, this information useful? Yes, they are useful. For example, if you want to make decision. Okay, I'll give you one scenario. You are going to prepare breakfast for all your friends that will be coming to your home. What is the best time for you to prepare your breakfast? Is it before 7 a.m. or after 9 a.m. or you don't have to provide breakfast? Based on the result of the survey, we can see that nobody is taking their breakfast before 7 a.m. and nobody skip their breakfast. That means you must make sure you prepare your breakfast after 7 a.m. and everybody will have their food because nobody is keeping their breakfast. So this is how important a survey is. It will help you in your decision making and in your report. And you can also make extra breakfast, extra nasi lemak because it's quite popular over here. And other than that, you can also present your findings from your survey to the public or to your teacher, for example. You can make a report, you can make a write-up on what you find out from your survey and share it with your teacher or your friends. Thank you very much.